Okay, my outstanding friends, this is a day that will live in infamy in physics because it's completely overturned today. The LHC ramps up for search for dark photons. Now, I want to make the announcement that we have found them using the Warren effect. Let me explain. Okay, so what are dark photons? There they are right there. And these particles are from Fermi Lab. This is their doodle. Don, Don Lincoln made this. And, uh, and they can find these particles in the debris from these gigantic ex collisions. However, using the Warren effect, we can do this right here, which is to crush the fields instead of hitting them head on. We force them into what normally you think of as a venturi, but being on the subatomic level, it's, it's not an atomizer, it's a photonizer. And what we end up with is the muons and the electron neutrinos actually separating, forming the black particle, which is their dark photon, and the white shower. So the dark photon has been found, and here's what it is before it explodes. Rodney Warren has created the Warren Effect Venturi. Now, what does that do for us? It could actually give us free energy. It's a forced field Venturi. It's crushing all these fields, and they're gigantic fields, tiny little particles. They can't get next to each other. They explode when they do, and when they explode, they send off all of this brilliant radiation. Uh, you see that field, how big that is? There's a bazillion of them. There's one here, one here, one here, one over here, one over here. You don't see them. The only reason you're seeing these is because of the explosion backwards against them. But all of these fields have to fit through this Venturi. And, uh, you know, Rod is the guy. And again, I take no credit for the Venturi whatsoever. Rod just accidentally discovered this. Now, it's a tuned single slit. Tuned. That means it has to be a certain distance and architecture. That's Raja and it, that's all Rod. But when it comes out the other end, you can see what happens. Only white comes through. And that is because that particle is the dipole nature of, of the electron. And the electron has a positive and negative, shown a million times. So, photon charge separation. They, they were built together here, as I showed right up here. That's what they look like in a photon. Half of this right here is one electron, that's another electron. And they go up and down depending upon their polarity, but they're always going to be pointing down towards the Earth. That's going to call upspin and downspin. Now, we have separated them, causing the muons, which is the black one is the muon, and the electron showers to actually separate and come apart. Uh, very easily seen. There's no no denying it. Now, this apparently they claim converts from this kind of energy, which is photon. This is a photon. They say in the energy electron volts, it only takes several electron volts. Let's even say it took a million. Even if it took a million electron volts, when it comes out the other side of this venturi. It is supposedly trillions. That means if we could harvest whatever's coming out of here, right there, just like a solar collector, just like this, just like this, what would we get? We would get free energy. Because if it's coming in here at a very low wattage and it's coming out here 100 times, 200 times, a trillion times, I mean, that's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. But I can see. And as you can, there is it's, it's just an absolutely exponential increase in energy right there. Absolutely unbelievable amount of energy is being generated by forcing these fields to concuss. All they're doing at CERN is they're hitting their fields head on. So instead of squirting them through like we do, forcing the fields this way, they're coming head on boom, and hoping they're going to hit. Well, most of them skim off this way or that way because they just push each other away. But we hear they can't do that. The black ones won't let them come back out, basically. They keep slamming against them and squirting them out through here. So Rodney has done his job. 
and it is now the Warren effect, and it is in the photonic range, not a Venturi effect, in the atom range, which causes atomization. This is, this is particleization. This is as small as you get now. <laughs> That's it right there.